the open ocean, the water is clear. White light, made up of the colors of the visible spectrum from the sun, enters the water. The colors of the visible spectrum are absorbed differently. Red light is absorbed at the surface. Green light goes a bit deeper. And blue light, being the most energetic, penetrates to the deepest depths. Now, near the coast, things are a bit different. Here, red light is still absorbed first, but green light penetrates deeper than blue. This is because blue light is scattered by particulate material, detritus and sediment and so on, that you get in coastal waters. This is similar to what happens in the upper atmosphere, where blue light is scattered by dust and water molecules to make the sky appear blue. Now, if you look at uh, where seaweeds live, at least roughly speaking, green ones tend to grow towards the top of the shore in shallower waters, brown ones leave a little bit deeper, and red ones penetrate to the deepest depths. Now, green seaweeds have chlorophyll as their photosynthetic pigment, which is why they look green. Brown seaweeds also have chlorophyll, but they look brown because they've got another pigment called pucoxanthin, which is brown and can mask green chlorophyll. Red seaweeds also have chlorophyll, but they have an extra pigment called phycoerythrin, which is red and can mask the green chlorophyll. Now these extra pigments are called accessory pigments, and their job is to harvest the light energy and pass it on to chlorophyll. Now, chlorophyll absorbs blue and red light strongly, pucoxanthin absorbs blue light, and phycoerythrin absorbs green light. So, the seaweeds and their pigments seem to fit the light regime perfectly. And this led to something called the theory of chromatic adaptation, first proposed by Engelmann in 1883. However, in the words of Spider-Man, if you actually have a look at an underwater cave, for instance by going diving and having a proper look in real life, then you notice that you get the same basic pattern of seaweed distribution. Green algae at the entrance to the cave, brown algae a little bit further back, and red seaweeds right at the back. Now the cave is all at one depth, and so the spectral quality of the light, the colour of it, is going to be the same for the whole cave. So therefore it's been realised that the, quanti the quantity of light energy is more important than the quality. So chromatic adap adaptation is, at best, not very true. Quantity is more important than quality.